Jun asked, um, you know, in, in, just like in the Philippines where mass produced beer is so cheap, um, how do you position your beer in the market? You know, how do you price your beer? And Mark, I guess that that's from a winking seal perspective. Yeah, we're, we're you know, in, in the kind of super premium, premium, mastige, where do you guys fit in terms of positioning and pricing? It's a great, that's a great choice. And I think, I don't like to think of it as a pricing, um, a price positioning, I think of it as a value proposition, you know, and what we want to deliver is value. And that comes in many forms. Um, of course, there's the end price to the consumer, but also what we deliver above and beyond the product in terms of um, uh, machines, uh, in terms of training, in terms of support um, and, and all that. And so while, while our end price might be in your, your upper premium category, we're definitely benchmarked with our, our fellow um, craft breweries um, in our category or in our tier. And, um, and we, we were, I think we deliver more value or more bang for your buck, you know, supply it than other, other breweries will do. Um, and then that's very much, you know, goes back to kind of our, our partnership approach. Um, you know, so, uh, in that, I'd like to give a, a shout out at this point to, uh, my, my good friend, Katrina, who's joined the, the chat. Um, and it was, uh, her and I collaboration to start the, uh, the Sailing Club Dragon Fruit Pale Ale. Uh, and we were in Renee, where she was uh, at this point GM now, she's in, in headquarters here for Sailing Club Leisure Group. Um, but uh, it's on the beach and we said, how can we collaborate? And uh, she said, well, this is the world's biggest uh, dragon fruit producing area and uh, uh, let's do dragon fruit beer. So uh, welcome, Katrina. 